I wanted to show everybody my FEV1 machine that I got on Amazon. Um, because I really recommend it for someone who has asthma or CF. <clears throat> Just because, um, for me, I'm trying to get my PFTs up there and I feel like I can keep a closer eye on it at home with this machine. So I got it on Amazon for about, um, $35, $40. I think it was $40 with shipping and everything because the shipping for me was free. Um, <clears throat> It's the digital peak flow and the FEV1 meter. And the meter looks like this. And it shows you how to do it. <coughs> and the buttons. But, you know, of course it comes with instructions. <coughs> so it comes with a little pouch that looks like this. And then you, oops, then you have a top part section. And that comes with information booklet, little little cards that I don't use. Um, then you have um, a USB cord that you can put into your computer, and this would go into the machine. <coughs> then there's the big um, pocket. And that comes with more cards and most importantly the FEV1 machine. So it's it's really light and it's really small. So and then it comes with a green mouthpiece and a purple mouthpiece. But it the original one is just the blue one, but I just haven't used these yet because I haven't used it very much. Now, every now and then, I will use a alcohol swab to clean the mouthpiece just because of germs. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to explain how, um, how to use it. <clears throat> and my PFTs are probably going to really suck right now. So... But first of all, before I even show y'all, I want to kind of explain how you figure out the percentage of your FEV1 because it'll, it'll only tell you like a one point something. But to figure out the percentage, because I like to know the percentage of it, <clears throat> you're going to need your last paper from the last time you did PFTs in the clinic or hospital. And this just happens to be one that I did um, about a, a little more than a week ago before I left home from the hospital and um, my these the, according to this I blew a 49 percent <clears throat> and the reason why you need this um, your last time you did PFTs is because we needed to know the prediction of your FEV1 so um, I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see this because I'm on my iPod and it sucks. So, FEV1, this is, this is what I blew, this is the percentage, but we're looking at this, the prediction. So, mine is 3.18, which means someone normal for my age, my weight, height, who doesn't have CF, normally they, their prediction would be a 3.18. <clears throat> so, I'm going to turn this on. This is what I blew before, 1.44. So, I'm going to take normal breaths. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing before I do it. I'm going to take normal breaths because, but away from here, not in the mouthpiece. <clears throat> and then, I'm going to blow in really deep. Then, I'm going to blow out into the machine. But, do not take your normal breaths. On the machine because it will once you blow out it's gonna count that so it's not like a regular machine so I'm taking my normal breaths out you'll see <gasps> did you hear that beep that's the beep when it tells me I'm done so I blew a 1.46 and when you turn it off 
it's going to remind you that I blew 1.46. So, it's off. So, I want to take the 1.46 that I just blew. And then I want to divide it by my prediction. Be in mind, everyone's prediction is different. So look at the, your last PFTs to find out your prediction. My prediction is a 3.18. So that would be, so you, do, you divide what you blew and what your prediction is. So I blew 1.46 and my prediction is a 3.18. I'm going to divide those. <clears throat> and I get 0 0.18. 459 and all blah 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 all that so since it's 459 I'm around the 9 and make it a 46 so I blew a 46 so that makes it 46% <clears throat> and it's it seems right because I blew 1.46 and when I left the hospital, the 1.57, it was 49%. And this, I blew 1.46, and it's 46%. So, that's kind of how to figure it out, because a lot of people get confused. They're like, I'm getting 1 point something, 2 point something, how do I find the, the percentage? Well, that's how. <clears throat> so, yeah, I really do recommend one of these things, just because... If you're like me and you want to get those PFTs up, but you want a closer eye on them, um, I feel like it's pretty. I feel like it's pretty accurate because when I go in for clinic or when I was in the when I was in the hospital and I did, and I did them, or even when I was in clinic and I did them, I'd come home that same day and I would do it on here just to see if it was if I was getting the same results, and they were spot on. I would be 50% in the clinic and then I would do them here and they were 50%. So for me, they're, it's really accurate. So I really, like I said, I really do recommend it. Search on Amazon, um, Peak Flow or FEV1 meter and this should pop up and I got the cheapest one. Just find the cheapest per people, people, um, that sell them, but I do recommend it. And, uh, if you have any questions about it before you buy it, just comment down below and go ahead and ask them and I'll answer them. Or if you can't find it, you know what, better yet, I'll put a link down uh, below in the description box so that you can just click it and find it that way and buy it because it's, it really is helpful and I really do recommend it. So uh, yeah, um, thank you for watching. Um, and like I said, comment down below if you have any questions or anything. And if you, if you do have one, let me know how accurate yours is and how it's been working for you. So, thanks for watching. Bye.